here. Welcome to the latest Lego update video. Once again, I'm focusing on the three broomsticks as they have done a lot of progress on it since last time, as you can already see. So let's get into it. This is the front side again. And unlike last time, everything is well pretty much done. That includes the windows that are now completely finished, even the correct colors are corresponding as they should be. I have done this fill here towards the roof and I feel like it's uh, a job well done. I was hoping for something even better but this way there isn't really any strain on the pieces and the actual distance between this slope here and the roof itself is very very minimal so really happy about that also as you can see these icicles before we were using these ended up not liking them and i'm really growing fond of these pieces here and on two sides we have a triple stud and i have added this one as well I'm not really sure if i like that might end up removing them because it kind of sticks um, as a sort them to my eyes at least but then again icicles shouldn't be identical so maybe it actually makes a bit of sense i have worked on the layers of the snow everywhere here on the front uh, added these pieces up here i feel like they really have a good spot there instead of down here also i have added all the snow properly to all these little windows and the only thing that's missing here and there um because i ran out of a white plate and i have just ordered some more with the other pieces that i'm still missing uh, part of me kind of wanted to get them and wait another couple of days but i'm i think i'm already half a day or a day behind the schedule that i usually post so i decided let's just make the video and you will see all the other stuff next time also over here i have added uh, changed the color over here to this window that these pieces arrived the only ones that are still in black are these those will be uh, with me very very soon now over here uh, i will put some kind of lamps uh, which uh, we will also be placing next time over here i think all the photos i've seen there isn't a lamp over here but to me it kind of looks maybe a bit weird not for it to be a lamp there so maybe i will end up putting one there also uh, something else occurred to me over here i will put these uh, modified one by two plates in white so it kind of represents a little kind of forwards a piece that has uh, some snow in it and because the uh, thickness of this wall is two studs it will be fine to place them here because they're only one stud so you won't be visible from the back other than that uh, I feel like this looks really really nice compared to all the pictures that I've used as reference and I'm kind of really proud of uh, how everything is turning up um, Obviously, I might end up doing some little tweaks, thinking about maybe making this uh, roof here a bit taller, uh, as I feel it should be a bit taller, but it will kind of ruin the math here. And uh, it's something that I've kept from the original model from LEGO, and I'm not really sure that I should change it, but I might end up doing it. Shouldn't be too much of a hassle. Over here on the back, I want to show you something. Uh, I've added some more icicles here. I ordered some more of these because I initially thought to use them elsewhere. So I ordered only 20 or so, but now I will need a bit more. So I actually ordered some more and I just placed some icicles here randomly. Might end up changing that. You can see here I'm missing some plates, but basically that's it. And over here, I've placed all the uh, well remaining white plate here and again I will probably make some kind of a um, texture and here we'll have more snow and here a bit a little bit more so two to maybe three different layers of white plate and over here it will be kind of uh, zigzaggy so it's not really all covered from the top similar to the other side 
And I actually really like this because uh, if we want to see the second floor, it's a lot easier to access it through here because you only need to remove these pieces here, these two wings. While from the front, it really is a bit more of a issue because you need to remove more stuff, obviously three here and uh, four here, but it's still removable. Really nice that that's the case. It just takes a bit of time to remove all this and then when you put them back together you need to kind of make sure that the pieces align properly but for the most part i will be showing uh, the stuff that's going on inside on the second floor from the back and i have actually decided that uh, this side here will all be covered in uh probably all in reddish brown plate so one of the last things i'll do is probably just do that and that goes the same for this side over here and the other one behind this uh, barrier. Now, uh, over here, not really much has changed. Uh, this one, this little tile was up because it's connecting actually to the uh, lower floor because over here, this these two uh, four studs are actually part of the stairs. They're not part of this module that's removable, but uh, I'll actually probably end up uh, splitting this one by six tile into one by two and one by four um, at some point because every time I have to push it because when I take this out it just pops out obviously. Now over here I've really not touched anything uh, because I've worked on this first floor just wanted to finish things there and uh, one thing that you can see is that I've added another minifig here which is Scrooge McDuck. Um, I was browsing through my inventory of uh, minifigs and I found that this is one uh, minifig that actually makes sense, it kind of makes the scene a bit funnier as well because it was a bit too dark perhaps. And um, yeah, I also have one great idea, uh, it's Cad Bane from, uh, well, last time I saw him was from The Mandalorian, but yeah, from the Star Wars universe, I feel like he's going to be great sitting on this poker table. Then I went on Bricklink and saw that there are three available Cat Bane minifigs. The latest one, which is the most easy, easy to obtain, is the one from the Justifier set. And I went on to buy it and found it's about 40 euros for one minifig. And that really discouraged me. So now I'm kind of really thinking about it, but buying that minifig for 40 euros is uh, just... <laughs> A no no for me. I don't see myself doing that. I will probably uh, go and find the justifier set, maybe 30-40% off, and uh, just get the minifig or the minifigs and just uh, ship the other, well, the ship itself, ship the ship, uh, very funny, um, to somebody that's willing to just have the parts. So I will probably end up losing a bit of money. And getting some minifigs. So that's what I'm looking to do. But when exactly I'll be able to do that and find that deal, it might be in a week, might be in two months, I don't know. But yeah, one of the two remaining free seats will be Cat Bane. And the last one will probably be, well, Ludo Bagman was a great suggestion by one of my uh, most active subscribers. Um, but I don't have the pieces to make him yet. I have seen some really nice uh, custom minifigs but still don't really have the pieces and haven't had the chance to find them anywhere to buy them. So um, it might take some time but the idea here is also I will probably end up uh, with, as time goes on just switching the minifigs. Uh, they will not be fixed like this. For example Mr. Freeze is another good minifig I feel could be here. Uh, but then we'll have the Penguin and Mr. Freeze, so two Batman characters, kind of weird. So maybe I will swap one of them out now and then, or I don't know. Uh, I will probably get some other ideas as time goes on. Actually, I had one more other idea for a minifig to sit here, but I ended up placing it on the lower floor, and you're about to see it. After, uh, well, actually, there is nothing else here that's really going on, I don't believe. Uh, so... Let's get to the lower floor. So much stuff to show you there. Here is the second floor removed. And we're back on the first floor. Now, where should we start? Well, 
Let's give you a bit of an overview from this site. I have added all the minifigs that I found to be making sense here, created a lot of custom minifigs. Also, I have added uh, a lot of details along the walls. So let's start with this site here. As before, we have Harry, Ron and Hermione. I have changed the table a little bit and added the corresponding beverages. And of course, as I mentioned last time, they're sitting at the appropriate seats as it's in the scene from the uh, sixth Harry Potter book and film respectively. And that bard, I believe, was there from last time. And yeah, before we had different beverages and foods. Now I just placed the um, beer shakes over here because that's what they're having. And that's in here. Uh, I have two wizards that are drinking. And maybe I should zoom a little bit, yeah. And I just wanted to make like different things. So have like a bottle and that uh, the purple one has his hat on the uh, table. And I have added some uh, horns here and there along the walls because all the images that you see from the inside on the first floor, there is quite a lot of um, like trophies and different horns on the walls. Now, obviously, the scenes here, the walls are taller, but that's not really possible in this model. Plus, um, once you look the actual building from the outside and then you see it from the inside, it doesn't really make sense. But that goes with a lot of Harry Potter and not only uh, buildings from films. It's just the way it is in cinema. Over here, I have uh, two witches that are having some uh, alcoholic beverages and their friend over here who is uh, coming back with an ice cream and is slipping and is about to have her ice cream land on her face, most likely. All those uh, female faces that are gasping really are um, appropriate to... I, I, it just always gives me the attention to place them in such a way that they're slipping. I think I have one over there in the um, courtyard. Now over here we have uh, a couple that are having tea and actually this is uh, these are two characters from the Fantastic Beasts but not necessarily because um, the body here is uh, was different and I just changed it but other than that it just <laughs> I feel it's uh, a good addition. And we have uh, these chairs at the bar and I changed them like I said before I would because these uh, legs, these uh, monocles, they're somewhere around here I believe. Yeah, these pieces here, uh, they end up being too long and once you place a minifig here it kind of reaches above this tile which means that the upper floor will hit the minifig on the head and that's not good. So I actually fixed the problem because I didn't like those pieces as legs and I made them kind of different and a bit lower. So now it's fine. So yeah, this guy's sitting at the bar and is angry for some reason. He's pouring some alcohol. And as somebody suggested and as I promised over here, the bar and behind the shelf I placed uh, as many and as different and more colorful uh, different bottles supposedly with beverages and then we have this same drink that the trio of wizard girls are having uh, you could call it maybe wizard vodka that's what I'm thinking it is because it's white and light blue I would assume it's some kind of magical vodka but yeah anyway so we have the same glass here and that's the bottle for the drink. And over here we have, uh, well, this is a minifig actually that is uh, supposed to be Professor Flitwick. As you know, Professor Flitwick used to look a certain way in the first films and then it started to look a different way. And this is the second version, but to, my, to me it has always been the first version that I associate with Flitwick. So this is not him. So what I'm trying to say, this is some wizard. Uh, the minifig, this minifig is great, but it's not 
Fist of Lidwick to me. To me, it's the one that's in the first and second films, I believe. Just as I see um, Richard Harris as Dumbledore, I don't see um, Michael Gambon. Was, was his first name Michael? I, I might have screwed it up, but yeah, you know what I mean. Anyway, so uh, I've tried to not really place many um, non-Harry Potter characters, but I just made sense here. So I placed c Tripio to play chess with, uh, with this person. And um, now I have a few gripes with this little scene. The chess uh, tile, obviously this is a sticker, as you can see that it's not very, well, perfectly placed. And I was thinking of uh, using this from the advert calendar over here. But that's just so ginormous and it just looked weird even if you place it on this bigger table that is three by six. So I decided, well, let's make a concession. We'll not have that. We'll just have this piece. But the problem is I already bought it this way with the sticker not really placed really well. And uh, I have never actually taken off a sticker and replaced it. I uh, here people are doing some sort of stuff with heating the tile, but you have to just heat it the right amount for the sticker to come off and then you place it back again, but I've never done that. So I'll do some research to how to do it or maybe just get a friend who has more experience to do it. And this here is supposed to be a clock, a chess clock. Now this is a printed piece, printed slope, which doesn't really look like a chess clock, but I found quite a few uh, pieces that are the same shape that have well, those old chess clocks uh, from that they're not even electronic, so they actually would make sense in the wizarding world. Um, they, they have like a wire inside and you screw them and then they run for a certain amount of time, kind of like a battery, but not quite. Uh, so I have found a couple of pieces that look like that. And once I am able to fetch some of those, I will just replace it. So it will look identical, it just the picture will be slightly different. Now again here we have Slughorn who is at the appropriate table and he is all by himself because that's the way it is in the film and it makes sense. He will stand up and go here to Harry, Ron and Hermione, invite Harry and Hermione to his uh, supper party and Mr. Wallenby, I think he calls him. He is not really invited or, well, not really acknowledged either. Anyway, so over here on this side, maybe you see, maybe you don't. So let's do it from this side. We have Dean Thomas and Ginny, which are also present in that scene from the uh, sixth book. And they're having also uh, here shakes and uh, Ron is not very happy about that. Now, the other thing that I'm really excited to show you is this scene over here that's on the back of the first floor. And for those of you that can recognize what this is and where this is from, I tip my hat to you. And uh, yeah, this is Samurai Jack. It's an animated series from a while back. And it's one of my favorite animated series. It's so well done. And it was actually finished a couple of years ago for last season because it ended on a cliffhanger about 10 years ago or so. Uh, maybe even more. But yeah, I had the idea of Jack being on the second floor, of the poker table. But then for somehow I remember this episode, I believe it's called Jack and the Scotsman Part 2. And uh, there it basically starts with Jack being in a tavern and having well dinner or just eating like this from a bowl, from a bowl uh, with chopsticks and his sword is like next to him on the bench or the chair next to him and these bounty hunters uh, except in the scene they're, they're in front of him not behind him uh, they're looking at this piece of paper this proclamation that says wanted <laughs> and uh, it, it, it has a face of Jack and then another picture below and says also in hat. <laughs> so they're looking at the proclamation, looking at him and they're just jumping him and the whole fight scene ensues. And it's, yeah, so it, that, that's what inspired me to place him here and place these three minifigs. I mean, obviously this is a robot from the last I think, series 24. 
a Yeti from a while back, which I just got from a shop randomly. And the other one is, uh, uh, that's, I think that's one of the bad one bad guy from a, a soldier, bad guy, foot soldier from Ninjago. I might be wrong, not really a Ninjago expert, but felt like uh, a appropriate mechanical looking monster villain bounty hunter as those are the majority of jack fights so yeah it i feel like this is really really i'm really happy with the result and yeah i just placed jack over here and you can see the only thing that's kind of sticking out here on this are these dark bluish gray pieces that's because it turns out that I run out of these in the correct color. In this one, I don't even have in reddish brown, but those are ordered and I will replace them again with the appropriate color as I usually do. And yeah, that's all the tables over here. We can see it from above. It's really well uh, done, in my opinion. I feel like this first floor is as good as it could be. It has a good amount of minifigs. Again, not too crowded because I felt like maybe I should put a bit more minifigs, but then it just seems like it's too much in this uh, space. And I feel like those, this is just the right amount. Uh, one thing that I would like to also show you is that I replaced these cheese slopes here with actual cheese printed on them like to thank uh, Dustin, my subscriber, one of my subscribers who gave me those. And over here, one other thing I'd like to maybe add is add some kind of Easter egg underneath the stairs or another minifig. Initially, some of the bounty hunters were behind and under the stairs. I believe I tried the robot there but he wasn't really fitting well. So maybe I'll put a fourth one if I find a minifig that's suitable. Oh yeah, this guy here, that's what I was forgetting. The last minifig is this wizard that I made uh, who is having a drink and observing the uh, chess game as a former chess active, as a former active chess player myself. Uh, that's a very common occasion to people are playing chess and probably 10 people are watching them and all of them are thinking that they can do better. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he seems a bit drunk. That's why I have his hat kind of to one side. You notice, by the way, that these wizarding hats, for example, this one, you can see that it's a bit worn because I, I think I've had this hat for 20 or so years. Uh, this one, the backside here is kind of, you know, upwards while over here this other hat which is maybe newer is not like that and all the hats all the other hats they have are like this they're standard and don't have one one side kind of upwards sorry so yeah that's uh that's the first floor and it's complete now the only problem here is with this scene now of this door is can't be closed but i think that's fine Maybe once I place this on the shelf, once it's done, because I feel like it should be up here on the shelf. I actually measured it, and the shelf here is 22 centimeters, and this is about 21 and a half wide, so it will actually fit perfectly, but this door will be a problem. So I might just uh, close it there. But for this scene, it actually works perfectly, because the idea is that uh, Jack is eating and the bounty hunters are entering from the back, from the back uh, entrance. It would be logical for them to do that and they're uh, about to ambush him, but he he senses them, as you can see from his face, you know, he knows uh, they're there. Anyway, so that's my little Easter egg for that. And uh, yeah, other than that, I don't know what else I will be placing here. Maybe I'll get some ideas at some point, but that's pretty much all of it and uh, like I said I try to place as many details on the walls as possible I've placed these shields here which are from different Lego series uh, we have these kind of special metallic uh, light gray shields which have a space for a little tile here that's shield uh, 
size really to fit in there and I just order these random ones and because I like them so I just place them here they don't really mean anything in this scene but they just look cool and I decided to place the flags for the um, Hogwarts houses over here and there just to represent kind of different corners it would make sense for the three broomsticks to have like different sections so when people come in they would maybe reserve tables and they say I, I want the Hufflepuff table or the Ravenclaw table or the bar is Slytherin because maybe Slytherin you know everybody says Slytherin is bad and the bar is where the alcohol is and people get drunk so you know that what the logic is but I, I just placed it there so it's somewhere no it, it just I'm not really tr trying to say anything bad about it. I, I identify myself as a Slytherin anyway and we have Gryffindor over here in this corner and yeah I added some other uh, details on the walls basically everywhere where possible and this is the end result I feel that I am uh, really satisfied with this so let's uh, put the second floor back together again and say a few more words before uh, closing up. Alrighty, two floors assembled again together. So next time, uh, these uh, little changes I mentioned already, I should be able to do them because the pieces will be here in the next couple of days. So I'll add these little uh, lamps and lights, colors here will be fixed everywhere where there is some more white plate needed will be filled guess what these windows here still not fixed because i end up using all the windows over here but now i don't really need any more of those so i need another eight for both sides so we'll have these we'll have back here hopefully this will be all detailed i can't really say that it will be 100% done but I will try to do it and then all which remains is inside here this piece again is popping out as you can see some of the tiling here is still needed for the floor so we'll fill that the tables should be in this, these spots put some minifigs don't really know what exact scenes I'll be putting but uh, that's where they will be and also here the wall this wall will be decorated with different shields maybe armor paintings whatnot and the main thing over here this room where the scene from the third harry potter film is happening with the minister uh professor mcgonagall and the owner madame rosmerta and here there will be a lot of interior that's gonna go uh inside with couches tables things on the wall again the work so that will probably take me the most time but once all that is done uh i feel like this will be finally finished did i mention that these here are also in the red color maybe i did maybe i didn't but yeah we can see them and after that well uh we're going back to hogwarts and updating the texture but yeah i'm hoping that at least Two thirds, if not everything, of everything that's remaining will be done by next time. But I will show you all that in about two weeks as usual. Once again, I would like to thank you for uh, viewing my channel, for giving me your opinions, for liking me on Instagram, on Discord, and of course commenting on YouTube. I feel like uh, I'm reaching to a lot of you lately and i'm really happy that you are enjoying my efforts now for some reason as i'm talking i can't really place this there we go and yeah if you'd like to follow me you can do it on youtube on instagram or on discord where i will i am very easily reachable i appreciate all your feedback and i will see you very very soon as usual until then stay healthy and happy building bye now.